Hi, uh, my name is Yi Chen, and today we're going to talk about the Chinese painting art supplies. First, we're going to talk about the brush. Okay, uh, brush in Chinese painting brush, we have all different kinds of brush. Some of them they're made of the wolf, and some of them they're made of the sheep, or even squirrel, or different or horseman. And uh, if you see the white brush outside is white. Uh, this this brush is a combination brush. It's uh, outside is white and inside is brown. And um, outside is white is the uh, the sheep, and inside is the brown is the wolf. And why uh, they use different kind of animal fur to make of the brush? Because um, for example, uh, for the sheep one is always soft and it contains a lot of water, but it's really soft. So when you are drawing something like the birds, the flowers, then you use the white brush, okay? And then if you are going to draw the rock, the mountain, then uh, the brown brush will work much better because uh, it would, um, after you draw it or you paint it, uh, the line is going to like show more strength, okay? And uh, most of the time, I would suggest students to buy only like two brush, one combination brush, for example, the combination brush, which has the brown inside, which is the wolf, and the white outside is the sheep. The combination brush is not too soft and not too hard. Okay, so it's very easy for the beginner to use. Okay, but for some of the brush, the small brush, most of the time we use the small brush to do the beak or to do something really, really detailed. So um, we use the wolf, wolf one. So these are two most basic brush that I would, I think that a beginner should have. Like the, like one is the wolf brush, that is the very small brush, and the other one is the combination brush. So it's not too soft, not too hard. It's it's very easy to use. Okay, and and we're going to talk about the color too. The color we have five basic color. Basically, three primary color. Yellow, yellow. Uh, I use the color of HWC. It's open. This kind of um, this kind of uh, paint is is called um, is is called like a W two three six. It's the permanent yellow light. And this kind of paint, this kind of color is uh, Japanese color watercolor. It's transparent. Okay, so um, yellow primary color yellow red and blue okay so these are three primary colors that um of all the colors and then i add on two secondary colors because these are hue, the hue color sometimes uh the orange everyone know that orange you can add on yellow and red but these two colors sometimes cannot make a very pure orange so we add on orange for this color and the brown color burn sienna we know that how to make the brown color. Sometimes you can use yellow and blue with a little bit orange or red, then you can make the brown color. But um, this kind of brown color is really pure, and uh, that is the color that I really like. So I add on another brown color, which is burnt sienna. And HWC is a very good color, and instead of using HWC, HWC is the Hoban color, you can use also the um, Winsor Newton. It's also a good uh, a good brand to pick. The white color is, if you, if you don't have the white color, you can also use acrylic. Okay, it's the poster color. Okay, so um, this kind of white color um, is the color that I really like. Okay, so basically, you don't need a lot of supplies. You need like five colors with one white color, two brush, the ink. This is um, the ink and also some practice paper. Okay, so this is the basic equipment that you can use because what we, our paper is different from the watercolor paper. This is a Chinese painting paper and uh, in Chinese painting paper there are like variety of color. It depends on what kind of work you want to do. But uh, this kind of color, this kind of paper, this is um, the practice paper. Okay, it's not very pricey and it's already cut nicely into like uh, like uh, many sheets. So you can just use this and I use the rough side on this kind of paper. And the other kind that you have to cut it by yourself. And this is the original Chinese rice paper. 
and it spreads a little bit more. This kind of paper is machine made, this is handmade. Okay, so I always ask my students to practice on the machine made paper and when they are good at it, then they use the, you know, the, the handmade paper, which is going to work better. And the plates, you can just use the, any like white plates, okay, and you like dinner, white plates, okay, so you don't need to spend a lot of money on that. And also the water container can be any kind of container you like. So as long as it, you know, you can wash your brush through this container. And these are all the equipment that you really need.